Now, Eros, when we awaken it, when we merge through kissing and caressing and loving and lovemaking without an agenda, without wanting anything for ourselves, but from the natural flow of love, when Eros is there, it is arranging our desires. It is arranging our pleasures. We mentioned in the beginning of the lecture that essentially we all have certain parts inside that we don't share, that stay there, those stories, those emotions, those feelings we never share. Some people, they never say that they are angry. Other people, they never share that they are afraid. Other people, they never share that they are sad. You know, Johnny I never saw him sad, never, yeah? So these areas in people's lives become like, uh, to give the metaphor from the beginning, like water that doesn't flow, becomes like a swamp or like a basement that nobody visits for a long time. It becomes rotten and damp and so forth. Now, since none of you who are listening now have such areas, we will make a little exercise and close our eyes for a moment and look inside with sincerity and with courage and see if there is something inside of us that we don't share either almost never or never Yeah, you will not be forced to share it with anyone. Just look inside. You can keep this thing for yourself forever if you like. Just look and see what it feels there in that area which you never share. That's very good. Now, what happens is that those areas that we never share, they lose their life. They lose their vitality. If you have some, um, a huge erotic wish or wishes and you never share them with anyone, that would become very, very frustrating. If you have an artistic wish, if you want, for example, your lover to take care of you, but you never confess it, and you always take care of them, and you silently wait for them to uh, take care of you. Yeah. For example, if that is uh, if that is a life, and you you accumulate a lot of frustration and a lot of tension for the the one you love. Yeah, because you never share themselves, and they never guessed. Somebody said, "I am." Selfish, yeah. Yes, indeed, this is one of the things that we discover there and we don't really share that, yeah? And you will see, those of you who will wish to follow what we will explain here, it would be very good to share. I often tell Blandine, even in the midst of a fight, I'm feeling very selfish. I'm feeling very defended and shelled and proud and very righteous. Good, then we can start from there. It, there is an intimacy. We're still fighting, which we never fight. Yeah. But we never fight. But there is an intimacy there in the fight. You can find them on our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it now. Uh, hit the bell for the notifications. And also, if you're on Facebook, please give it a like and all of that sort of stuff. And you know, again, also for movie scenes and book scenes and living scenes, that when you share... You know, we are both psychologists. So many times people that never shared anything, they share it first time with us. And it, it is such a relief. Somebody is listening and somebody is caring and loving when I share something that I never shared before. How beautiful. What a sigh of relief. Now, what's happening is that love... Eros and consciousness are arranging factors. 
Yeah, when people go to a psychologist and speak about their things, it arranges, even at work. There is a dilemma, we speak about it, there is awareness, it gets arranged. When we are aware of the disorder, the disorder arranged. Love also. When there is a community without love, a family or a work environment without love, everybody is fighting. There is this harmony, there is only interest. When there is love in that family, in that community, in that group of individuals, there will be harmony. Now, Eros, when we awaken it, and I remind you that Eros is this upward flow, it's a selfless, sensual flow. When we merge through kissing and caressing and loving and lovemaking without an agenda, without wanting anything for ourselves, but from the natural flow of love. When Eros is there, it is arranging our desires. It is arranging our pleasures. Yeah. So if you have an eating disorder, and you have a lot of erotic experiences, the eating disorder will tend to descend. You will have less problems with food because your emotions, your heart, your desires, are put in harmony. In ancient uh, Greece, the god Eros, which later became uh, Cupid, the god Eros had the role in the universe to balance chaos, death in the underworld, and sleep. Yeah, so the universe needs to have a balance. There is a coming out of order and a return to order. And Eros was returning the universe into order. Through erotic love, we regain harmony. We awaken our soul. You see, people are nasty to people that they love because of these pockets of loneliness. You probably know some people, maybe you are such a person, I am such a person, that's normally nice to everyone, but when it is a love relationship, World War Three, World War Five, World War Zombie, something. There is a world war there, and it very often happens because we have pockets of undigested pain. We have pockets in which we are not conscious, we are not sharing, and then intimacy comes, we are close, we are embracing, we are sharing ourselves, we are sharing a lot of time, and suddenly we feel some pain. Now the pain is not related to now, it's the pain that you felt as a child, it's the pain that you brought from the office, it's the pain from something, something, some emotion that you never confess to yourself or to others, some emotion is there. And who is to blame that you feel bad? Obviously it's the significant other, as it's called. Obviously it's my lover to blame because I have some pain inside, because I'm irritated. Today I was thinking about the visa situation here in Thailand, the borders closed, open, I need to go out, I, just do, I wanted to do a retreat, quarantine, I got very stressed. I felt the temptation inside of me, blame it on Blandit. <laughs> it comes as a, but because I was contemplating and I just let myself, okay, this is what I am, I am worried and I am upset and so forth, then it didn't crystallize. I saw the thought, which was irrational. It's not, Blandin is not the prime minister of the world. I am. Uh, not, not yet, at least. So, <laughs> the prime minister of, of health, or I don't know what. So, it's not her fault. But if I was not there with the thinking process, I would feel irritated towards her because I'm worried about the visa situation. So you see the pain, the unconscious pain, gets associated and become accusative towards the person we love. What we need to do in such situations is to learn to improve our intimacy. To actively share and to actively listen and to actively love. Yeah, people are very active when it comes to jobs. If you got fired, you don't just walk back and forth in the in industrial area or in the commercial area and wait for somebody to offer you a job. Yet when people are out of a relationship or something, that's what they do. They walk around and wait for somebody to kidnap them. Yeah? 
to uh, hook up with them or something. And we normally, we long very much for love, for togetherness, for eros, but we stay very passive about the transformations needed inside of us. Here we'll give three very simple, easy things. Every idiot can do, uh, can do them. Every intelligent person can do them. You can see in what category you are, but for sure you can do them in both categories. <laughs> yes, so you take these three things and even if just to a degree you put them in application, you will move substantially from loneliness to togetherness, from the downward sexual separated flow that become, makes you more isolated, more full of lust, more um, selfish and greedy and tensed into the erotic, loving, togetherness, happy, conscious path. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on spirituality, tantra and more. And if you want to sign up for our online classes or for our retreats, you can see our website on the description below.